Welcome to adding virtual disks to a Unity Virtual Storage Array video demonstration. This demo shows how to add disks to a Unity VSA system using the vSphere Web Client interface. The vDisk will be used by the system to provision user data storage. So let's start by logging into a vSphere Web Session to the vCenter server and look at the properties of the ESXi host where a Unity VSA system was deployed. From the Hosts and Clusters page, we can expand the vCenter server tree, Data Center, and select the ESXi host to see its properties. The ESXi host must have enough available storage capacity in order to create the virtual disks. In vSphere environments, the ESXi storage capacity is provided by data stores created from local attached disks or by VMFS or NFS data stores created from block and file storage provisioned by an external array. In our example, we are using LUN's provision from a Unity physical system to build the VMware data store. We can then expand the ESXi host view and select the Unity VSA system. From the Virtual Storage Appliance Summary page, click on the Edit Settings link on the bottom of the VM Hardware section. The Edit Settings window will open. Observe that the Virtual Storage Appliance is deployed with three virtual disks which should be left untouched. From the Edit Settings Property window, select New Hard Disk from the New Device drop-down list. Expand the New Hard Disk field to expose its advanced settings. Observe that by default the new hard disk is added to the local data store, and the system will not allow the creation of the virtual disk if there is no available space. Choose Browse on the Location field to select another data store. The Select the Data Store cluster or Data Store window will open. Select the data store with available space for creating the vDisks, then hit the OK button. Enter the disk capacity to be created. On the disk provisioning section, select the disk format. EMC recommends that thick provision eager zeroed is used for the virtual disk that will provide the user data storage capacity. Accept all the other defaults and hit the add button once again to add another virtual disk or click OK to commit the changes to the virtual appliance. The virtual disks will be added to the configuration and will be used later on during the initial configuration of the Unity VSA in Unisphere.